Monday, everybody, and welcome aboard the Independence of the Seas. We are on a cruise. Welcome to our room. We would have shown you this an hour and a half ago. When we walked in. But our keys didn't work, so some poor maintenance guy had to come and take the door apart and then put it back together to tell us just to go downstairs and talk to somebody. Which we'd already done once. And she told us that the door was broken, and the door broken guy told us that the keys were broken. Lots of mixed messages today, but we're in the room, so let's take a little tour, shall we? We've got a nice little couch over here, the bed, and life jackets in case of a Leonardo DiCaprio situation. We were supposed to be in a bigger room, but we got upgraded yesterday to a smaller room with a view. <coughs> overlooking the parking lot. They also have a vanity. These mirrors are doors. Am I the only one that never uses the cabinets and drawers in a hotel or any room that I don't live in? Because Audrey will unpack. Look at this level of organization. Crazy. I have not looked in this restroom yet. This is easily the smallest bathroom I've ever seen. Like the shower is so very small. Yeah. This is... This is what I assume I'll be buried in. I also feel super weird about taking a shower on a boat. We're going to willingly let water into the boat. I've seen a movie about why you shouldn't do that. It's called Back to the Future. Wake up, people. <laughs> We're gonna go wander some more and see what else is out there. This place is crazy. There's a main street inside. Audrey got a free ice cream. We are back in the room for just a little bit before dinner, and after that, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm probably going to be tired. We are officially moving. It is too late to get out of this now, because I don't swim. Should have thought of that. That is all from us tonight, so I will see you in the morn. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two and to Nassau. Na Nassau, I think. Nassau. Nassau? Either way, it is unbelievable out there. The water is gorgeous and blue. Audrey's all glammed up. I made this. It's a simplicity pattern from the 40s. It's custom printed tiki bird fabric from Spoonflower. And it has a singular pocket. Adorable. And we have Jimmy Neutron on TV. No Disney channels, though. Disney is the cruise competition, so I guess I can understand that. But mm -hmm. pff, that's enough taka taka. That's waka waka out there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome ashore, as they say. In boat talk. And there is the Disney dream. That's the cruise ship we should be on. Mm -hmm. But anyway. We are currently in Nassau. 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 We're in the Bahamas. Usually, if you're on a boat, you try to avoid pirates. We're going to find them on purpose. This is really cool. I don't think we knew what to expect when we were coming in here. This is a full-size boat. At least it feels full-size. There's a whole village over here. Excuse me, sir. Do you know Johnny Depp? We are now inside the ship. There's a lot of detail in all of this stuff. Yes. I'm impressed. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna call him David. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> I don't think that man's ever been to medical school. <laughs> Just out of the boat, there's an exhibit on lady pirates who actually have some really cool stories. This lady, she would kill male pirates and then she would flash them so they knew that a lady murdered them. That's cold, Anne. So we did learn two things. The reason we think that pirates made people walk the plank is because in Peter Pan, Captain Hook makes them walk the plank. And there's only what, one recorded? One recorded event of that happening. And then we also learned that the uh, X marks the spot came from uh, Treasure Island. Everything we know is a lie. Complete Who's your hairdresser? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Where am I going? This way. Yes. I think we're gonna go uh, get ourselves a genuine Bahamas lunch. Yeah, you know, a famous Bahamas McDonald's where I befriended the local wildlife. I named that one Brendan. We are now at the Bahamas. I've totally already forgotten the name. National Art Gallery. The National Art Gallery of the Bahamas. We're gonna go check it out. So no pictures indoors, but there's a great outdoor walking gallery area. Every couple of feet, there's just a piece of art. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It would get vandalized so fast <laughs> back home. 
I know my videos aren't doing this place justice. Everything is so pretty. And ornate. And there's so much age to it. Everything is this lovely pastel color. It's really cool. But it's probably not translating very well to you. Just, just trust me. It's, it's lovely. Good morning and welcome to day three. Why is it zooming? My camera is zooming without me. There we go. We were robbed this morning. It's fine because it was a seagull. Really should have seen that coming. We're headed to Royal Caribbean's private cruise island. So apparently all the boats have one. It's a water park, it's a beach. We don't know what to expect out of today. Audrey does my sunscreen. He got a really bad sunburn on his nose on our first date, so I made a promise to not let that happen anymore. So far, she's not failed me. After a morning of confusion, we have finally made it to our own cabana here. We're sharing it with my cousin, it's not just us. But right now, it's just us mm -hmm. and the chicken. Yeah, there's chickens here. You can just walk up and demand ice cream, and they give you one. It's hard to experience everything and film everything, so you're just gonna have to take our word that it's pretty cool. We have ventured over to an even bougier side of the island. My parents are over here. The family has rented a floating cabana. Yeah. It is insane. This isn't real. This is what a postcard looks like. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought my phone. Yeah, you totally could have out here. Audrey got another ice cream. That's the Bahamas for you. <laughs> Welcome to day four and our day at sea. There it is. We are currently floating somewhere off of Miami for the day to keep us on the boat for a few more hours so people spend money in the casinos. Let's appreciate Audrey's outfit of the day. We won't talk about how great her butt looks in that outfit. I might cut that out, I don't know. <laughs> we will be disembarking sometime tomorrow morning, I think around like seven or something, which sounds insane. But that's tomorrow's problem. Right now, we're gonna go explore the boat a little bit. We're gonna go check out the, what part of the boat? The, the bow. The bow, or to be technical, the boat's nose. You gotta do it. It did. I think, legally, we have to play shuffleboard. Yeah, I think it's required. I don't understand how, but I will definitely try. I still don't understand, but I think our won. All right, so it's been a few hours. We had lunch, we took some Dramamine, and it is almost time to head downstairs to check out a 45-minute production of Grease. It's so weird to be in a theater without a mask on, yeah. and even weirder when the theater tilts. <laughs> anyway, we really liked the show, all of that good stuff. It was, but It was definitely a musical review or a concert, not a production. Audrey's about to go on an adventure on the ship. We will see you on deck 12. They were like pirate ships and city buildings and like a Aztec temple. That was so weird. <laughs> We've eaten dinner, we're back in the room, and it is time to start packing all of this up. It's messy in here. Yeah, we probably could have made it a little easier on ourselves. This view may not be as glamorous as what we've been used to, but it means we are one step closer to home. It is 6.30 in the morning. We're supposed to disembark. I believe it's 7.45. We are still packing <laughs> because that's just who we are. I'm, I'm almost done. See you on the other side of, of the dock out there. Yeah, we're not gonna die. We're not dying. 